Now let's get another look at our Wednesday weather with Storm Track 3 meteorologist Garrett Hamilton. You know, it's hard to believe that eclipse is less than two weeks I away. Know. But it's not really feeling like spring out there this morning. Feels a little bit wintry. We do have a frost advisory for parts of southeastern Missouri and northwestern Tennessee, and that goes until 9 o'clock this morning. And that's because we could see temperatures as low as 35 degrees here in this area. But regardless of whether or not you are in that frost advisory, all of us are still waking up to some pretty chilly temperatures. We're sitting at 34 degrees in Perryville, 38 in Mount Vernon, 39 in Dixon Springs, and 28 degrees in Piedmont. So it is a little bit chilly out there this morning. And when you factor in the wind chill, a lot of us are feeling like a few degrees cooler than our actual air temperature. And that's due to some northwesterly winds right now that are at about five to seven miles per hour across most of our region, but further off towards the east, we're not even seeing any wind gusts out there. So for today, I do expect cooler and sunnier conditions for the afternoon. And once again, we are tracking the possibility of pretty close to freezing temperatures as we go into the overnight hours tonight into tomorrow. But once we get into the afternoon hours tomorrow, the good news is, is that our warming trend is really going to be beginning and we're going to see that lasting through the weekend. Right now, you're taking a look at the satellite and radar, not really seeing too much other than just a few passing clouds off towards the north, but those will burn off as we go throughout the day. And we are seeing those clouds lingering right now in Carbondale, but across southeastern Missouri around the Poplar Bluff area, it's a little bit of a different story, and we are seeing that sunrise quite nicely on the horizon. Temperatures by 9 a.m. are likely going to be running into the mid to upper 30s, and we should be seeing temperatures in the low to mid 40s by 12 o'clock today. And again, you can see that those clouds are going to be clearing quite nicely for the afternoon and highs today are likely going to be running in the upper 40s to lower to mid 50s for the afternoon today and we'll still be running into the lower 40s by about eight o'clock tonight. Now, because we're not going to be seeing any cloud cover overnight tonight going into tomorrow, I do expect that to allow us to drop into the lower 30s as we wake up tomorrow. And I think a lot of us across southern Illinois are going to get pretty close to freezing and it should be in the mid 30s further towards the south. But regardless, it's going to be a little bit of a chillier morning to start the day tomorrow. But we're not really going to see too much in terms of a wind chill. But by the time we make it to the afternoon, we are already going to be running into the mid 60s and we're still going to be in the upper 50s through about 7 o'clock. So that warming trend is going to start tomorrow afternoon and likely last and those low temperatures as we get into Friday and Saturday aren't going to be getting anywhere near the freezing mark and we should be running well above average in terms of overnight lows by the time we make it to Saturday and for highs over the next couple of days we're going to be running in the mid to upper 60s for Friday lower to mid 70s for Saturday and Sunday but you are going to want to keep that storm track three app handy because we are tracking our next chance of rain, but it's not going to be coming for a while. We'll be dry through Saturday before a few isolated showers try to work their way in for Sunday. Uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms are expected for Monday and for Tuesday, and it's a little too early to talk about specifics, but we definitely could see a good amount of rain from this system, but we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that as we get into early next week. Temperatures today once again running in the upper 40s and to lower 50s across much of our region with quite a bit of sunshine, especially this afternoon 61 for tomorrow with completely sunny skies expected 68 for Friday, 73 for Saturday, 74 for Easter Sunday and for Monday as well. But we are certainly keeping an eye on the possibility of a few showers and thunderstorms Monday and Tuesday before the 60s return for next week. And here's that viewer photo of the day sent in from Pinckneyville by Stanley. Wow, that is a really great picture out of Pinckneyville. Yeah, it is. Good choice, Gary. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Well, when we return, we'll have another look at our